Good evening, everybody. And by everybody, I mean Alina. Good evening. Uh, doing a little bit of sound troubleshooting real quick. Um, also got to pause Spotify because it insists on playing out of my onboard speakers. So let's see if this works. All right. Why is my game not running? Cool. <laughs> uh, it was up earlier, and then I had to close the game to troubleshoot the sound, and now it's not working again. Of course. Of course. All right. Let me, let me see if I can... There it is. Fantastic. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? Yes, we have a Pupperses. I have not changed any settings. Like, I have not touched the sound settings. I have not touched anything. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Well, when we left off, Mr. Daniel Jackson had uh, come home to drop some things off, and he he's going to start kind of getting to know these Constellation people and see just, just what this whole thing seems to be about. So... We've had a nice long rest. I keep hearing there's a museum around here. He, he likes museums. So we're going to try to hunt down the museum. Maybe take a little stroll through that. See if he can learn something about the history that he seems to have completely skipped over. And... Oh, okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Honestly, try to get some sleep if you can. Don't worry about the stream. You know, there will be a recap. Vasco, you're, you're good. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Thank you, fun. <laughs> this belongs in a museum. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Hello there. So we're going to... We're going to take a little stroll around Constellation, kind of see what the place has to offer. Some sort of really fancy, high-tech map of the galaxy is what this looks like. Got a nice little sit by the fire and hang out. Oh, can I sit beside Sarah? No. Is she poking her shoe? Okay. No, we're good. Yeah, I hope you can get some good sleep, Alina. You've got some big days ahead of you. When do you leave again? Very gentle with this coffee. It is super full. Super good, though. There's a cat hair in my coffee. Guys. How? I just pulled this out of the cabinet. Damn. It's been a long day. I woke up stupid early. Couldn't fall asleep. Yeah, the two hours of driving is, is pretty rough sometimes. I wish when I hovered over these things, it gave me, like, information. I know this guy was one of the founders, or maybe he was the founder of Constellation. Um, I don't know who this is, but can I just state that... Uh, hold on, we're gonna go into camera mode. Um, and then... Oh, disregard. I'm stuck in a boat. Okay. <laughs> Trying again. Camera mode. Can I just say that this is my favorite piece of art in the entire game? Just, uh, just want to lay that out there. Saturday morning. Okay. 
cat hair doesn't have to obey the laws of physics. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, this is my favorite piece of art in the entire game that I have seen so far, and I take a point to look at the art. Um, I need to post a couple of things on Instagram from the other night. Uh, fun. Are you capable of dealing with that, or do I need to? Because we don't... Uh, we don't accept any sort of thank you. We we we're not looking to be famous here. Appreciate you, fun. <laughs> I wish I could like use this stuff. But anyway, so we we want to try to find the museum tonight and take a stroll around that. We're gonna poke around. Um, New Atlantis and just kind of familiarize ourselves with the place. We did that long quest chain in the well uh, last time, which was a doozy. Uh, if you do nothing else with the video, poke the video that I posted that is episode two of Daniel's journey. Scroll ahead to, I don't know, maybe somewhere in like the, the seven to 15 minute time frame in there and watch the shenanigans of me trying to run circles around the well. <laughs> It's shenanigans. <laughs> I, I left all of it in at 10 times speed with appropriate theme music. Just saying. So we do want to do some more constellation things. Um, Daniel's very curious about getting back to the solar system. So really, we just kind of want to check out the solar system by way of the constellation mission and then see if we can find the, the museum yeah, I don't know if that's exact time frame, but it's it's at least in the first quarter of the video. So, um, yeah. But we're supposed to go to Soul System, and I guess I guess Sarah's coming with us. Do we have anything to? I've been to Mars. Do you Soul have any system, other personal questions? It's fine. Go ahead. Oh no, I've already asked you everything. Talk to you later. All right. So we're gonna go back to our ship. And yeah, yeah, go on an adventure to Mars. I, I think my bags are empty. We're gonna double check real quick. I might need to sell some things before we can take off. We gotta go see a guy about an artifact. All right, that's not bad. Nine weapons. Uh, we can sell the ax. Let's go find a place to sell the ax. And which way do we want to go? Let's go this way, because the weapons lady is this way. Just a nice little problem. stroll through New Atlantis. No, sir, no problems here. Thank you very much. We are a law-abiding citizen out to do good and serve the people and be a champion of freedom and justice. Something like that. <laughs> that's, that's what Daniel does. Alrighty. Where my weapons shop? Around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just past CJ's. Do you people have names? No, you're just citizens. Whoop, whoop, whoop. A shootout in Fidoti. An unnamed tracker opened fire on their mark in the middle of a busy spaceport. The tracker's target. This newest spate of violence has renewed the call. Good for night, Alina. Of the tracker's alliance. What? The alliance released a press statement saying that the mark. Hold on, I'm listening to the, the radio. In question didn't hurt anyone. But if history is any judge, it's only a matter of time before an incident occurs with a more tragic outcome. You know, a tracker was who was after that chick that we refused to help on that other planet because Daniel didn't want to take her place and then get into a, a throwdown with a bounty hunter. Is this... Oh, it's this. Galbank representatives would neither confirm or deny these rumors. SSNN recommends that all Galbank oh. customers change their login credentials and monitor their bank accounts for suspicious activity. 
It's a news pillar. That's cool. Um, I'm wondering if I got the tracker news because I had the interaction with the lady about the tracker. Because I've never heard of a tracker in this game until her. None of my other characters have ever come across anything called a tracker. You're here because you need something you can connect with. Something you can... Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. I don't it is need my something. It's absolute pleasure to assist you with any You need something. You, you need my axe. All sales and you'll have my axe. That won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. Okay, what have you got for sale, lady? The finest have I never been here? That's that why she just gave me the whole spiel? Probably. Uh, let's sell the rescue axe. And I think I need all that other stuff. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, it was super sketch. So I was like, eh, maybe you wouldn't do that. Maybe not. Maybe not skis. Alrighty, let's go to the spaceport and get on a ship. Fly to Mars! I was hoping I'd be on early enough that Goon could come hang out for a little while because I know he was enjoying the Starfield stream last time. There is some really nice architectural work around here, and the sculptures are super cool. I just love it. I never get tired of looking at these details. Because inevitably, I see something new almost every time. Okay, so... We gotta go to Mars, we gotta do some things. Do I have any talent points or did I spend them? Okay, I spent them. Wait. Should I have put the robot on the ship? I should probably go and put the robot on the ship. Can I do that from here? Um, crew. Oh no, I haven't talked to the robot and made him my friend. All right, this is the point where we do a, a, one of those quick travel things. Because we did the thing. We ran all the way back to our ship. But we forgot something. So we're going to pop to the lodge, grab a robot, and then pop back to the ship. It's a retcon without a retcon. <laughs> oh. I did not get enough sleep today. I mean, when do I get enough sleep, honestly? But... I'm feeling it today. I have to go to bed early tomorrow because I have to wake up early and make Frito pie to take Every to work for Pi Day. Here, I'm reminded of the importance of Constellation. Hey, Vasco. As you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. There no we additional go. protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space. <laughs> It yeah. might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. We can do that at another time. Kajuja is part of my crew, Vasco. Forgot about Pi Day? Yeah. How long have you... Mm, no. Captain Jackson, Get on my crew. I will proceed to my assigned post. He doesn't know how to say Daniels, but he says Captain Jackson. Crap, whatever. Let's just have pizza day today. Oh, no! Oh, no. Everybody's going to be all pizzaed out. All right. He is now assigned to the ship. All right, Sarah, also assigned to the ship. 
Alright, so now she'll be on the ship. He'll be on the ship. We're all on the ship. Alright. So, to Mars. I don't know what's your what's your what's your backup plan, fun. Everybody eats pie. I picked up something you might be interested Chocolate in. Chocolate pie, apple pie, pecan pie. All thrust is firing. Oh yeah, we're off on an adventure. Daniel's like people on Mars this is outrageous I think when we get back from the Mars adventure um, that's a good time to go find the uh, looks peaceful from up here doesn't it the museum and probably do my whiskey tasting it does look peaceful but we need to go to the soul system. See where life takes us. Let's not grab jump through a planet. Yikes! <laughs> that would have been an oopsie doodles. Must have been a good jump. We're still in one piece. What is this? Oh shit, this earth? Uh oh. Oof. Well, if that's London, that's Florida. Oh goodness. That's the Americas right there. There's what's left of the Andes. Oh my gosh, look, the shadow is actually moving around the Earth. No way. I swear it got darker. I swear it got darker. I may have imagined it. Alright, so down here. Oh, okay, so here's um, Australia. Here's New Zealand. You can actually see the, the landmass underneath the ocean through here. Even though all the islands are just the terrain that's sticking up right here. Yo, this is wild. This is wild. There's supposed to be something really cool. Uh, it's in Europe, so I can't... I can't really see it on the map right now. It's too dark. I mean, let's go have a look-see. Let's go to London! Da Daniel is, uh... Too curious. To go We're going to Earth before we go to Mars. But after seeing the uh, outlines of all of those continents he's um he's a bit devastated to find out that earth is Good day, oh very much not earth anymore this is this is heartbreaking to him Absolutely mind bogglingly heartbreaking to poor Daniel. I wonder if I could actually be surveying some stuff on my way. Mercury. Shit, we had pizza today. Same brain. Wow. 
London landmark. Alright, all I need to find is water and I've got the place served. Well, now I have to find a treat. What's this? London snow globe? What? I've never found a snow globe before. I've looked for them, but I've never found one. I've never actually completed this London landmark quest because I think it was glitched on the on the original launch, and I've just never come back since then. Um, let's look at this thing. <gasps> look at that. It's even got a little trolley. Aww. Oopsie. That's too cool. Alright. Um, that needs to go in his trunk at Constellation. Check out your ship's inventory. Can I go can I go find a planetary trait first? Wait, if that's the landing area and that's my ship, then why is it telling me to go here to check out my ship's inventory? What the f Very confused. Let's go to that natural thing. Oh my god. I feel like I have something stuck in my eye. Terrible timing. How very dare you I. Probably a cat hair. They seem to be everywhere today. Oh, did I find water? Yes, let's go. Alright, got all the resources. The water took forever to find on Janet. Whoopsie. Wow. Yeah, when it's daylight, I want to go try to find the... the thing in the Mediterranean. I don't know if I'll actually find it, but I'm going to give it a shot. I don't remember exactly which little point I'm supposed to click. So. It might just be for naught. But, we'll give it a try. Actually, I truly do not remember the details. It may not be worth trying. Cover oh, that's not even a real fucking trait. Lame. Well, let's go see if there's a loot box or something in here. A chlorine. Wow. Few coppers and aluminum. Yeah, this is not what I was hoping for. Let's pop back to the ship. And then go check out that other one. Okay, back to the landing area. I wonder if I can have a sleep. 
Let's do that. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and get the... That one. Unidentified trait. Supposed to find, like, a meteor impact crater for the actual trait. So, um... It's gonna be a natural trait anyway. So this could just as easily be another covered cave. Which is... Or a covered crater or whatever. Which is crap. They shouldn't have non-traits that you can uncover like that. That you don't get credit for surveying a planet. That's just rude and frustrating. If it's another covered cave, I'm just gonna walk away. Go someplace else. Yo, here we go. This is it. This is the one. But I need to actually explore the... Okay. There's one. Alright. Meteorite. I need to go find more pieces of meteorite. Oh. What's this? Is this a rock pile? Yeah, there's a lot of rock piles by traits. Unfortunately, I cannot get a very high jump in this gravity. Alright, so there was one over there. Oh, here we go. Like, find the highest point and then look. Yay! Sludge pools. There is sludge on a planet with no atmosphere? Okay. Alright, dingles. Alright, let's go back to the ship and take a nap and see if we can explore this place in the daylight. Yeah! Woo! I have things for you. Uh, get up. Sarah, what do you have for me? Like a, like a gift? I like gifts. Gifts are nice. Yeah. Ooh, hi. I have something for you. Okay, a gift? You shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. I picked it up on one of our latest oh, planetary expeditions. Time. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. Well, I appreciate the effort. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's what did you collect? While. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. All right, what did I get? Lubricant stalk. <laughs> she likes me. <laughs> Lubricant stalk. Wow. At a uh... Sarah, that's that's a bit on the nose with the innuendo there. She really likes me. Gosh, fun. I hope you hadn't walked away yet at that point. Right, we're gonna sleep. Get us a little boosty boost. Oh! <laughs> Thank God it wasn't just me. Whose emote is that? Oh, salute. <laughs> no rips. <laughs> decided to rejoin the world. Well, yeah, Sarah, we all have to sleep sometime, you know. Okay, so... I'm supposed to go to... Uh, here? I'm wanting to say it was like... I'm gonna have to look that up. I wanted to say it was right here, but that doesn't look right now. Hmm. Okay, because there's the boot of Italy. 
really is. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna go with there. Just see what's there. I'm trying to remember what this actually was. Landing site locked. Take us in. Right, I'm just gonna have a peekaboo because we were supposed to be able to see it from your ship, basically, if you hit it right. Yeah, it's supposed to be one of these things that is a, um, a structure, not a natural. I guess not. So, let's see. Okay, right, let's go to Egypt. Let's go to Egypt. Um... I don't know exactly where the pyramids are supposed to be. I'm gonna go there. I'm just gonna check a couple of places and see, and see if there's a structure available. But considering it was calling the London Tower natural, I might be completely off the mark. No graham cracker or Oreo crumb? Oh no. <gasps> Ooh, that's a different natural. Cave. Yep, I gotta know. What's that? I gotta know what this one is. That's a completely different natural. Just buy a damn pie. Yeah. Maybe. Is that something Zig can just snag on his way home from work and then y'all can have pie for dessert? Oh, yeah. Cheap grocery store pie? I'm kind of sad I don't see any pyramids. I've taken Daniel back to Egypt, which is where his uh, archaeology is, is most expert. He is primarily an Egyptian archaeologist first. So... He's not seeing anything at all that looks like Egypt. Schwab Pie Company. Delicious sweet pies. Not a huge fan of savory. Ah. See, I... One of my... Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Didn't get the memo that that was a vent. My bad. Um, I love savory pies. There's usually a lot of meat and or cheese pies at those medieval events when we do feasts. <sighs> Storm crater. What? That is not a pyramid. Let's go see what's in it. And then I think it's time to go to Mars. Oh. We've already found meteorite fragments. The other one was called Sludge Pools. That's weird. I think Storm Crater is what I found on Janet. Huh. Alrighty. Well, Sarah, I guess it's time to go to Mars. Um, so that's Earth. Wants us to go to Mars. Cydonia. 
Set course to Mars. Let's go. I can't pronounce it anyway. It's not. It's and the uh, the text doesn't show up in any of the the videos. Scan complete. You're cleared to land. Because I just use the um, the recording that I make while I'm streaming, which I'm so. I totally forgot to hit record when I started the stream, so now when I go through and I watch the stream online, when I have time to watch it, it's going to be seven minutes off from the video all of the times, and then I'm going to have to adjust them all by seven minutes and 13 seconds. Ugh. So basically, like, if it's the 10 minute mark for the stream it's gonna be the three minute mark ish for the recording so i'm just gonna have to like subtract seven every time every time i write something down and that's like oh come on i should have just waited until it hit eight and then done it at exactly eight instead of this weird fuse whoopsie sorry i didn't mean to shoot you let's go to sidonia Okay. You're supposed to see a guy about a thing. Touching down. We're gonna go ahead and do a hard save when we exit here. Though first I'm gonna get up and look at my inventory because I've got an activity. It wants me to look at my inventory for whatever reason. So we're gonna do that so it stops telling me to go back to my ship and look at my inventory. Hey look, I'm looking at my inventory. Ta-da, I did the thing. Cool. What the hell? What do you what do you want me to do with my inventory? Uh, I can deposit some resources. I can drop a snow globe. Hell. Nope. We do need to do a skill point though, so I guess it's a good thing that I accidentally hit that. Alright. Daniel. Daniel Jackson. His next skill point is. Medicine. I'm giving him a couple of medicines to make his healing a little bit more efficient. So we want that medicine. Um, activities. Check out your ship's inventory. I just did it. All right. I clicked all of them. No, it's still stuck on check out your ship's inventory. Why? I did it. I clicked the things. I'm gonna Google and see if that's a glitch. Um... Check out your ship's inventory on clear. You have to take out the correct item for it to work? Take something out. You have to take out the correct item? What do you mean take out the... But what... Retrieve something from your cargo hold without opening the menu for it when you stand in front of the cargo screen. Took a suit from the ship inventory. Okay, so let's... Oh, do they want me to take the Argos jumpsuit? Let me see. Okay, 
that message is from you, so I will indeed read that later. Um, did they did they want me to take the Argos extractor jumpsuit? I don't know. Nope, that didn't work. Navigator pack. Um carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some I took more? everything. Oh my god, I took everything and it's still not giving me credit. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Item doesn't matter. It's height. Don't open the inventory of the ship. Just do it looking at the console behind the pilot's seat. Like you're quick looting a body. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. So I was actually opening it up to do transfers, and that's not what it wanted. It wanted me to legitimately just take it from the screen specifically. Okay, that's really obnoxious. And picky, you piece of shit. All right, let's go back to main. We are going to track the main quest. And okay, that was annoying. All right, next skill up is surveying again, which will give us a longer survey range. I want Daniel to do a lot of surveying because he is actively searching planets for a way home. And since he's only doing the Constellation main quests and not any of the faction side stuff, um, he uh, needs a way to get more experience. Uh, yeah, so he's going to be doing a lot of surveying, mainly like looking for ruins and stuff. But if he goes to a planet to check it out and look for ruins, he's just going to try to complete the survey. So I'm going to go ahead and give him some botany and zoology survey skills to make it less painful along the way. And it makes sense that if he's doing a lot of surveying, he would be he would get better and better at, at doing the thing. So... It seems to me not unreasonable that he could then sort of learn those skill sets. Hey, what can I do for you? It's not too far off of archaeology anyway, because I'm sure in his advanced studies he saw plenty of like ancient plant and biomatter parts that he would have learned some of the some of these things anyway. He would know a little bit about botany, a little bit about you know zoology just by the nature of unearthing those things in pots and, and sarcophagi and things like that. It's not off the mark as an archaeologist to have those skill sets. The miners pretty much run the lower I'm not going to max him out on either of them, but definitely, I think I've got at least two, maybe three points. Right, botany, botany. Botany. Zoology, zoology. Yeah, I've got three points. And then when he's in his late 50s, he picks up the last point in each of those. And geology. Because, of course, 
you learn a lot about rocks also as an archaeologist. Um, not as much as a true geologist, but he's Daniel. He likes to learn things, so I'm sure he went out of his way to learn them. I could never Quick save. Behind. Their continued success is my life's work. There's always something to do around here. If you notice any of the miners exhibiting worrisome behavior... I've heard people who spend extended periods in low gravity can actually suffer from health problems if they don't exercise to compensate. Hmm. Who's, who's this the handsome miners have a guy? Secret about something they call who's the this? Hey, I overheard one good of to them see talking you. about it at the bar. Layla, I think it was. You've got a lot of books, sir. You, you have my interest. Oh, hello there, friend. Have you been there long? Just got here. Oh, good. I thought maybe I'd fallen asleep. But, oh my, I've forgotten my manners. Phil Hill, at your service. Yes, it rhymes. My parents had a thing about rhyming. My siblings I'm sorry. Phil, Jill, and Sill. The Hills. <laughs> what I'm a thrill. I'm so sorry. But there I go again. <laughs> you aren't here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about You're your here books. To talk about List. Sounds like huh? they're about to hear a sales pitch. Uh oh. Uh. Depends on what list we're talking about. No silly list. The League of Independent Settlers. Oh, those guys. Do I detect a glint of recognition in your eyes? I think so. How can I help make today your very best? I gave day? one of you some ship parts at some point. Um, what does list do? Why we help people. We get folks set up and able to start new lives and new places, free of governmental interference. We survey the stars. And the guy in the back is like, cheers. People's needs and <laughs> get folks started with the essentials. I don't uh, suppose you have a ship? Interested in earning some easy Oh credits? my gosh. Uh, not interested, no. Not, well, not uh, right now. That's unfortunate. Um, we're in, well, uh, desperate need of capable individuals to assist in our work. So if you'd like to learn more, please come speak with me again, okay? Okay. Hello. I, I was interested in all of your books, but your books are clearly not uh, academic in nature. So you have lost my interest, sir. Not everyone has to come to me with their problems. Oh shit. That was a uh, countdown to an explosion. Okay. Just feel like I'm back in Afghanistan. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. Any local rumors? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. One of these guys. You don't guys. do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. I mean, he doesn't look 45, so if he's already been doing this for 45 years, he's aging very well. <laughs> I guess I can respect you that. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. You ain't been around. Went off on patrol. I want to find this vanguard. Back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. The blackest sea? You got another word for it? He oh, means space. space. Mm. Ma'am. Space isn't kind to the lost. Sounds about right, yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. Mm. <laughs> it's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out mm. all that money, hmm. I've got problems. What do you say? Um. Oh, cool. So skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right the shoe now. Fits. Oh, please. Two strangers arrived from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. 
You could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come Just saying. On. Life on Sedona Just ain't saying. hard enough. You're gonna guilt trip me? Yeah, I'm gonna guilt trip you. I want you to imagine him out there alone, and here you are holding out for cash. Don't try to guilt trip me, okay? <laughs> Isn't he your friend? I'm just trying to keep my business afloat. Every minute that passes, he could be I a dick. I sell a sea work sometimes. <laughs> That's enough. You either pay up or get out. Scrub I'm save. I'm talking about this. I need this persuasion check, yo. Everyone needs to come to me with their problems. I ain't a... Got cold beers and good at hey. You ain't been around. Uh, not about to leave him behind. You Help us service? find him. I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Okay, so we heard he that part. He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? Skip to the part where you admit your no, lie. I've done this routine. Cool. Let's skip. Oh, she loved that. I didn't catch that last. You can't see it because it's behind the Tesla cam. You call. But it oh, says please. Sarah Morgan loved Just that. Lower the price. Fine. All right, we're gonna try this no. persuasion thing again. Life on Sedonia ain't hard enough. You're gonna guilt trip me. What matters more to you, the money or the life? Yeah. Hey. I'll get your point. Could be the only ones who could find him. Maybe. Yes. All right, I'll get There we go. Oh, that. Just oh, trying good. to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. Ah, there's nothing like fresh air filters. Am I right? All right. So let's yes. let's go find this. Oops. Let's go find this guy. And then we will come when we come back to Mars. Eventually, we will do some side quests. But first. Just because the governor's office I want to go read this. Place. Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking the fumes and the dust. No Activate the face on Mars. All right, July 25th of 76, the Viking 1 orbiter spacecraft took its first photos of the Cydonia region of Mars. Daniel remembers that. He remembers that. Later photography would reveal the face was no more than a mountain shadows and perhaps humanity's greatest case of periodolia, a tendency to perceive specific meaningful imagery in an otherwise ambiguous or random visual pattern. We, uh, we do tend to do that. Now, supposedly, after you interact with that, you unlock the ability to locate the snow globe on Mars. So, we'll see. We shall see. How's the saying go? If we can maybe find the snow globe on Mars. Maybe we'll have a little peekaboo before we leave. I know approximately where it's supposed to be, but I haven't watched that video for a while either. I'd stop sooner. Space isn't kind. <laughs> yeah. I would not hesitate to go to space. If I'm gonna die in space, man, what a way to go. Like, even if it's a horrible, terrible death, how many people get to die in space, really? So, <laughs> hook me up. There's one way to immortalize myself in the history of this world, it's to die in outer space, come on. All right. Oh, fuck's sake. All right, it's somewhere around here. Um, 
That's actually the face over there. Alright, we're gonna go have a looky-loo and see if we can find... It's in one of the eyes. And one of those two hills is the face, and I can't remember which one. So we're gonna go have a peekaboo. I think what he did is he went to that structure. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go take a peek and see if we can hook ourselves up with a Mars snow globe too. Because of course Daniel wants to collect all of the artifacts. So if anybody is going to be a snow globe collector, it's going to be Daniel. Oops. Should probably be surveying as I go. Okay. And line. And all I have found is lead. This is lame. Alright, so I gotta figure out where the eyes are. Maybe it's that one. Shit, there's so many round ones. Mother in law is shopping tomorrow anyway. Gonna pick up a grocery store pie. There you go. Good team effort. Go team! Maybe that's the face over there. I feel like he lined himself up with one of these. Right, this one's too small, but I got a resource. Yeah, it must be this one then. I feel like he lined himself up with. So I know, I remember in the video the guy went to this place, and then he lined himself up, and he faced, I want to say, northeast, which would be that way, yes. And then he ran across and dropped down. Maybe it's that one. No, because that's northeast. That just seems too far away. <laughs> I'm going for it anyway. I watched this video like once a few months ago. So we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> If it's not over here, then we'll give up and we'll go watch the video again. Off stream. Storage box. Canuck pancakes plus. Plus what? <laughs> Syrup? Right, this looks right. Cause he had to climb up a really big hill and then drop down. So we're gonna see what we can see. Cause again, it doesn't look like a face. It's just some rocky terrain with a little crater in it. Or a couple of little craters. And a tiny snow globe. <laughs> At least it lights up blue. Alright, so we'll see. 
we crest this hill and we can drop down into a little crater. Maybe we're in the right spot. I don't know, this is looking too steep now. It looked right from a distance, but now that I'm here, it looks really steep. There's no end in sight. DK needs to finish traveling. Oh, thanks for the reminder. You're welcome. Oh, you're telling me there's a chance. Oh, that, that looks too steep. There's no way that's it. We're going to check out everything on this side. Oh, <gasps> there it is. There it is. Yo, we did it. We found it. No way. <laughs> yes. I watched the video once months ago. Look at that. Ah. All right. Take. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's just the face. Yo, that is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. We are two snow globes in. Wow. Good job, Daniel. Good job, Daniel. I can't believe it. I can't believe I found it on the first try. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, we got to we got to go track somebody. Oh no, we got to save. We're going to We're going to hard save right now. That is my snow globe. All right, where do you want us to go? Oh, Venus, right. Set course. All right. All righty. Oh shit, there are bad guys. Hello, what do we have here? Yikes. See that cluster of ships? That's a nice snow globe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The I was like, why can't I scoot forward? Chair was stuck in your shoe. What happens if they spot us? Uh. Uh. Why are Varun zealots out here near Venus? What are Varun zealots? No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. How okay. But the zealots are outside of their control. Or so oh. they say. Do you see no, more ships? There are other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. Uh, I doubt they know where our no, vanguard is. But I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Okay. So we need to get to that beacon without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay. 
Minimize ship system power to avoid detect, detect for maximum stealth power down all systems except one or two bars in your engines and stay as far away from enemy ships as you can. Okay. Alright, so we are going to slow and steady. Make our way... At a top speed of 24. It's gonna take a hot minute to get here, but... I know what happens if you piss off the ships, and I don't want it to happen. Out into the beyond, and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised, and cast the accursed into shadow. The Varun are basically a cult that worships a snake. Which is why they're very on brand for a Stargate roleplay. Because Fenaria, the bad guys in Stargate are these little, um, I say little, like they're, they're like a foot long, um, parasites that attach themselves to your spinal cord and like interface with your brain and basically take over your body. And, um, Yeah, they just look like snakes. With little, like, frills that come out, like those dinosaurs have the frills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're parasites. So they, they take a host, and then they control and manipulate the host, and use the host's body to do all the things. But the... The, um... They're very intelligent. Wrath of Khan flashbacks. <laughs> nice. So. Yeah, that's... That's the primary bad guy in Stargate. For like the first eight seasons. Then things get a little off the rails and it kind of jumps the shark. Because they realize they're not getting cancelled. But they've just eliminated their primary bad guy. And... Now they need a new one. <laughs> yeah, brain control parasites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good times. Yeah. All right, when I get down to a thousand or fifteen hundred, uh, now's good. I'm gonna back off to twenty. Eighteen's good. Yeah, that's fair. It's a damn good movie, though. I'm gonna kick back power just a little bit more when I hit a thousand meters. Slow and steady is the name of the game, and if you go in too fast, they will see you. Fourteen or fifteen should be good, though. I don't really back down when I get to like six hundred or so, so that I can start slowing down. All right, six thirty, twenty, ten. One meter per second. Oh, that's perfect. That's zero. That's not perfect. One. There we go. There we go. We got it.
I should not have powered up my grav drives until I was actually ready to jump. Uh-oh, we are so screwed. Uh-oh. I'm about to die and have to do that entire thing all over again because I forgot to save after activating that beacon. I should be able to jump out of a system. Can I land? Nope. Because I'm supposed to be able to run away. Like, how do I run away if I can't grab jump? I'll grab jump here. Alright, let me look up how to grab jump in combat. The only way to escape ship combat is through grav jump. But it says I can't grav jump. Um, I just got in a combat situation. I can't beat. I'm trying to get away no matter how long I travel there on my ass. Can't even grav jump from combat. How the fuck am I supposed to survive? Enemy missiles locked on ship while making a grab jump. What am I missing? You have to jump to another system. Oh. As of this morning, you can't even grab jump to another system. Okay, so... Let me see if I can grab jump to a completely different system. Because that's a grab jump then. Set course. Okay. Yep. It's letting me jump. Okay, so then I just turn around, I'm out of combat, and I jump back to the soul system. Okay. Jump complete. Man, I knew there had to be some way to actually get out of combat. Jeez Louise. Alright, so then we just do this. Whew. And go back to Seoul. And go where they want me to go. Let's go somewhere. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Drive spinning down. Whew. Systems green. This is where we quick save. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first... Um... What happened to Earth anyway? When did we leave? Or why did we leave it? Uh, it's all ancient history now. But the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Alright. Um... Forget about finding the artifact. I want to walk on the moon. Yeah, let's go. If you want to take a little detour, I admit I wouldn't say no. 
Just remember, we need to find Vanguard Moara and that artifact when we're done. Can't really see this stuff back there. Okay. Most star stations and ships can be docked with, allowing you to board them. Okay. Yep. Yep. I learned how to do this. We're good. Detour. Zero points of interest on the moon. Alright, do we want to land in a flat, smooth crater or in a bumpy, craggy area? What do you think? In the dark, cratery terrain or out here where it's just little pockmarks everywhere? Now let's go for this. Landing on the moon! Landing site looks clean. Let's set it down. It's probably all going to look the same anyway, because it's procedurally generated rock. Alright, exit ship. Yo, there's... There's Earth! Yo! Oh, that's cool! Let's go find some helium. Alright, see some structures. Structure. That looks like a military structure. Let's go check it out. This is us getting distracted again and not doing our constellation mission. Daniel. Way to get distracted, buddy. I don't know. Fun, you're my viewer right now. Do you want me to go get distracted in a random old military bunker or um, actually continue on my mission and, and do what I'm supposed to be doing? <laughs> I could just find some helium and finish the survey. I'd be a happy camper. Ooh, what is credits? Yo. Eat that. Let's at least go find out what it is, even if we don't explore it. Oof. What would Daniel do? I mean, if he's on a mission, he's gonna go try to complete his mission. He's not the look for a fight type. He went over and found out that it was pirate barracks and he's like, nah, I'm not interested in pirate barracks. He's, he's more interested, like this ship landing site or something. Or some kind of research facility. Something that lets him kind of look at the past. Um, not, not so much interested in whatever that is. Deserted garrison type thing. Just really, really wishing I could find some, some helium here. Would like to have a little looky loo there. Alright, let's go see what this structure is. We're gonna check out the ship. Maybe check out the structure if we still haven't found helium by the time we get to the ship. Like, he's not gonna back down from 
ground-based combat, but he's not gonna start shit either. He's not out to look for it. He'll he'll just deal with it if it comes to him. Like obviously there's gonna be times during the mission where he has to do things like that. But Yeah, right now we're just looking for a little bit of helium. And again, if I don't find it by the time I get to the, the ship, maybe go check out whatever this structure is. Looks like another military thing. And that would make sense, right? That the, the moon is occupied with a bazillion military bases. Because it's going to be the first thing that humans colonize is the damn moon. Unless it's Mars. Maybe it'll be Mars. Alright, whose ship is this? Hello, handsome. Spacer Jackal. That'd be a good combat ship. Maybe maybe we do take a ship. If we can get our hands on it. If, if we can get our hands on a ship. It'd be nice to have a better ship. Let's see what happens. You're going down! <laughs> oh shit. Shit, there's somebody in here. Score another point for our side. Alright, where's where's the Where's the pilot? Oh. Was that you? Okay. We need this. We need this ship. Yup. Gonna make you pay. You think that hurts? Stop reloading. Got him. All right. So let's see what the ship has to offer. Uh, Find anything useful? First, we loot everybody. All right, uh, Xeno Warfare Tech. Looks like we're going to the den next. 800 credits. Some ship parts, some magnets. All right, let's find out what the overall capacity on this thing is. If it's only like friggin' 200 pounds of... All right. Oh my gosh. Does that seriously say it holds 1,700 pounds? No way. What is, what is this? What is this? Oh, that's the frontier. Oh my god, we're taking this fucking ship. 1,700 pounds? I've never seen anything over 900. Yeah, yeah, this is my ship now. Upgraded piloting skill required. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, how upgraded? All right, and if I go outside and I kill everybody... Well, I guess we're just looting everything. Just in case. Just in case we can't find this ship again in the future. It, it won't let me pilot this ship. My skill is not high enough. Lame. I'm gonna steal everything. I know, right? We still need to find any sign. Want to see what I'm carrying? I need you to carry the ship parts because they're really fucking heavy. It did, did not give me the ship parts. Oh, it's aid. Never mind. Ship parts. Resources. Oh, 27 mag. Yep, yeah, that would do it. Okay, we're good. 
Maybe another time. Okay, so now I gotta go downstairs and loot everything down here. Damn, I wanted that ship so bad. This is a really nice little ship. Plushy Galactic Cat. Mine now. Damn. I wonder what the requirements are. The only thing in that box is Chunks Cola. Shit. Yo, Galactic Cat! Yo, I just tried to take over this uh, Spacer Jackal that has 1,700 cargo space, and it's like, your piloting skill is not high enough. And I'm like, well, fuck you. <laughs> I'm just gonna take everything. I am lay sad. Nothing good in the lockers. Damn. I wonder if the ship will still be here when... I, uh... Come back with a higher piloting skill. Am I gonna ever have a higher piloting skill? No. No, if Daniel has zero in piloting, he's not a pilot. He's relying on his companions. We will never have this ship, Sarah. We will never have storage space. sworn there was a fourth spacer. Kill them all. Okay, it, my sound alert didn't work. Can you guys hear it on your end? I swear it worked last time I did a stream, and then it didn't work this time. Okay, stand by. Um, plus browser sound alerts because I went before stream and re enabled all my sound alert stuff, but it was yelling at me about not having it in the okay. So, channel points, whatever. There we go. Did that work? I heard it. Did you guys hear it? Really? Oh, that's weird. Um, Cause it's, I, I just, I added the browser source so that the sound alerts should be going through again. 
uh, control audio via OBS maybe? Do I have to add a desktop the audio output capture? Desktop maybe? Okay, let's try one more time. I'm not even getting it this time. I got it last time. Oh. All right, so that wasn't needed. Let me try again. Here's a truck, Veristaki. Where's my truck? There it is. Did y'all hear it on your end? Because I didn't get it. But my sound alerts... Um... Okay, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Which is wild. Um... So I can't hear the sound alerts anymore, but you guys can. Which is totally wild to me. Was it too loud? Because I can't tell how loud it is. Just let me know if they're too loud, because I can I can try to fix that with the sound alerts volumizer here. Okay, as I was. It was a little soft. Okay, try the Xena one. Play the somebody play the Xena one and see how loud that is. Let's see if I can hear it when you guys do it. I still didn't find any helium. How loud was that? Because I've tried turning the Xena one down so that I could turn the overall volume up and the Xena one just will not be quiet. I, I say quiet, I don't want it to be quiet, but you know what I mean. Oh, that's a cool shot. That was good? Okay. There we are. He's right beside Earth. Love it. <laughs> Okay, so the Xena one is just going to end up having to be a little too loud. Because I got to crank the other ones up a little bit more. Alright, let's go see what this is. Maybe we can find some helium and then we are off to see a man about an artifact. Oh, shipwreck hab. Alright, let's go talk to somebody. Hello. The suck zone. Hi. How are you? It's the point. I don't take Basically, at which the twist That's fine. Sucks you up. Oh, what the? Oh, you nearly scared me to death. 
I never encounter anyone while I'm out here. Um, are you an explorer or a photographer? At this moment, I am an artist. <laughs> I've had those this whole time, Veristaki. I want to add a bunch of Stargate ones. Anything to trade by chance? I have some things, but probably nothing you want. Can I sell you some Take guns? Ugh, he doesn't have very many credits at all. Med packs? Always got med packs. I will buy four med packs. Confirm. No such thing as too many med packs. I gotta go, Julia. We got cows. Another cow. Actually, I think that was the same one. Sell. And now he has a much larger stock of credits. Um, I'm not going to be using a sword, no. I will sell that. And a... No, oh, that's not bad, actually. That Grendel's better than... the Eon. Uh, maybe we just sell... Two of those. Sell that one. Lower DPS, much lower DPS. Do not want a coachman. Thank you. But that's not a bad weapon at this level. 94 DPS is not bad. Yes. Okay. Can I sell you a pack, sir? Or do I need to wear that pack? Oh, it's heavier. It's not that much better. We'll sell it. Sell a couple of the helmets too. Oh no, that's a better helmet. Hmm. That's a lot better damage resistance. Yep, I think we're getting rid of this one. Even though it grants up to 100 energy resistance. But lower my health. I... Nah. Oops. Equip. Equip. I'm dying. I am dying! Helmet equip! Jesus. <laughs> okay! Well, that was terrifying for a second. <laughs> I just took my helmet off on the fucking it. moon. I'll be gone soon. Uh. Just need this picture. <laughs> Woo! I have some things, but probably nothing you want. Take a look. I'm not done selling you things, friend. Here, let me sell you that. Well, that was terrifying. Golly. Uh, we're not going to eat the pancakes. Oh, well, maybe we will eat the pancakes. I don't know. Um, we'll sell that. Let's eat some pancakes. I lost some health almost, you know. Dying on the moon there. Eat the pancakes. Miso soup. Jerky. Alright. Better. Okay, well. That was terrifying. Let's not do that again. What's this? Nope, don't need that. Is that considered stealing if I just eat that? Let's quick save before we get ourselves into a pickle over here. Nope, not stealing. Alright, that means I can go inside and take whatever I want. 
go check out the hab. Might be this one. Might be this one. This is like some poor man's hab doors over here. All right, what do we got? Oh, take utility knife. Nah, toilet paper. Bed pack. Onion. Tissues. Chunk something. Yeah, cake. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. nom. Oh. Oh man, milk and nutrient is what I pulled out of that giant container. That is lame. Sealant. And... I... Why is the safe just open? Okay, that's, that's a thing, I guess. Alrighty then. I think it is time to go find this guy. Because we are not finding any freaking helium around here at all. And that makes me a sad panda. So. Sarah. Are you ready? My ship. Yes. It's also getting pretty close to time to do some whiskey tasting. So we gotta go find this more our guy. Uh, so let's mop up this mission, go find him, get the artifact. Engine's firing. Here we go. Head back to Constellation and then sit in front of the fire and sip some whiskey. I'm excited. I have to have time to sober up before I go walk and pick up my car in the morning and then drive home. <laughs> Orbital pattern locked in. And uh, I need to also try to sleep off the whiskey after I do my meal prep. So drink now, cook some catfish, and then take a nap. Yeah. And then I have to go to bed early because I have to get up early and cook again. So. Solid docking job there. Nice work. Why, thank you, Sarah. Walk and pick up car. Oh, it's just at the shop. Do it. I, when I get my car serviced, I drop it off one morning and I walk in and pick it up the next morning. Um, just because they close at 5.30 and I'm not awake by then to go pick it up, so fuck it, I'll just go pick it up the next day. They're like a mile away. Oh, this is a thing. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with I will space. await your next okay. order Hold your here. Into facilities and shoot anyone who gets old star yards. All right, Sarah. We got to drop all this onto the all. ship. I'm this is going to be a thing. This is I totally forgot this existed. Yeah, I I completely forgot this was a part of the story. Bye bye. JK. It's like the Batmobile, but with more whiskey. No, we don't want whiskey in the Bat or the Bratmobile. Oh, it's like the Batmobile, but with more whiskey because it's the Bratmobile. Right, right, right. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Alright, um inventory miscellaneous dump that dump that uh, transfer aid transfer those um, okay I think that's as low as we're gonna get our inventory Alright, well, I we may just do whiskey now then. 
We may just do whiskey now. Alright, I gotta go get the glass. We'll, we'll sip some green spot and check that out. And then, um... I guess we're, we're cleaning out a space station. I totally forgot this was part of the story. Probably one of my least favorite parts of the story. <laughs> so far. Uh, it's least favorite because my bags fill up so many times and I am encumbered and have to constantly go drop stuff off. That's why. I will be right back. Y'all don't disappear. Yeah, no, it's it's fun to like shooty shooty pow pow, but I'm like, ugh, I constantly got to go back to the ship because there's so many spacers. <laughs> BRB. <laughs>
That was way longer than expected. So I had my quick bio and then Tesla was like, oh, I guess I'm ready now because she wouldn't go before the stream. So then I took her out and she finally went after a few minutes of prompting. Then I came back in to try to find my glass and it wasn't anywhere that I put the glass. It was not on the wet bar. It was not in the drying rack. It was not... In any of the cabinets where I don't put the glass. Um, it was not sitting in the computer room. It was... And I finally I remembered last time I was drinking out of that glass. I was in the library using the foot massager. So I finally found the glass and then I had to clean the glass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh yeah, I want carrying capacity mods for sure. But I want them to be more organic. Like, Fenaria gave me one in Starfield. Not Starfield. In Skyrim, where you can, like, craft leather pouches and things. I would want something like that. I would want, like, a suit mod that I don't necessarily have to have, like, some wild high level of suit engineering. I can just go craft some basic, like, packs for my suit or something like that regardless of my suit engineering skill. It was with Professor Bratt in the library with the whiskey glass. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was definitely Professor Bratt in the library with the whiskey glass. But I've got my glass now, and I've got my whiskey. So it was uh, a comedy of errors is what it was. It was like, oh, I'll just go grab the glass. And... Have a quick bio, and then we're going to taste some... No. Tesla's like, oh, we're doing that now? My turn. I finally decided I want to go. Mm-hmm. It's that one's fault. Oops. Oh, what a good girl. So. All right, we're about two hours in. That's really where I wanted to do the tasting anyway, so that I could... Uh... Oh, really enjoy it over the second half of the stream. It's okay. So Green Spot is an Irish whiskey. Um, I believe it is malted barley like you would get with a scotch. But of course, it's not peated. Um, pot still. Yep, yep, yep. So one of my favorite things about this is that it's got a very sort of luxurious, velvety, creamy mouthfeel to it. So the the texture of tasting the whiskey is just as fun as the flavor part. But on the nose, there's there's some mild floral notes. Maybe a little bit of a honeysuckle. Definitely some, like vanilla ice cream like the sweet cream vanilla kind of kind of vanilla because a, a lot of whiskeys um can sometimes come with like a vanilla extract sort of scent that this one is more of a, a creamy sweeter vanilla maybe something like a bready like a like a vanilla tart or like um well, there's a tang to it. I haven't sat with this one in a long time. I I think this is my third bottle in the past few years, but 
I haven't had I haven't had it open in months and months and months, so. Something tangy, like um maybe like an apple tart. But sweet. Yeah, we're going with if if I had to pick something. Apple tart and a glass, but sweeter. Like, uh, oh, apple tart with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on it. That's what this smells like. The, um, the oaky tannins come through early. And it sort of settles into this sweet... Almost, yeah, almost creamy. That's more of a mouthfeel, though. Yeah, I'm not really getting fruit on the palate. Just very buttery. It's buttery. Um... Very smooth on the palate. Sweet, buttery, shortbread. I mean, that's that's kind of something that Irish whiskeys are known for as a sort of like a shortbread flavor. This is a fantastic representation. Hold on a second. Coconut. Toasted coconut. It's hiding. I only get it at a certain point <clears throat> as it's fading. It goes through this real quick. And it's already gone. That was interesting. Very, very good whiskey. Um, so let me show you the bottle. Green Spot. Basically, if you find one with a label that's got a green dot on it, or should I say a green spot on it, Green Spot. That's this one. Now, there are, there are a couple of higher-end versions of this that they've aged in some French or Spanish um, sherry or wine casks. Um... I've got the Chateau Louisville Barton version, and that is phenomenal, but it's like a $100 whiskey. Uh, you don't need the $100 one. This one's like 60 and it's good. Yeah. Highly recommend Green Spot for those who want to try an exceptional Irish whiskey um, that, is, that is something... Like, if you're ready to step up from Jameson... Jameson is fine. There is not a damn thing wrong with Jameson. The Jameson Stout is one of my favorite whiskeys that I've had from Ireland. <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> but if you want to step up into something that's going to have um, a more complex flavor profile, then this is, this is a good stepping stone. So, um, yeah, definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend. Okay. Oh, it is now the 14th, so we are moving on our desk calendar to March 14th. There you go. Always fucking bet on yourself. There you go. Right there. Always. My father-in-law got me this. It's phenomenal. Okay. So let's get back to the Starfield, shall we? We've got some pirates to kill, or some Captain ecliptics, Jackson. or some shit. It is. We've Fortune. got some shit to kill. To see you. And we've got a lot of shit to loot. Sarah. You are perpetually in my way. Oops. Sarah. Sarah with me. Okay. 
Psych. No. All right, what was she hiding? Nothing. All right, so here we go. Did you pick? All right. Uh, bunch of junk. At this point, I've kind of learned what the different things look like, and I can mostly tell by the shape of the blue blob whether or not I want it. But... That blue blob looks like booze to boost my carry capacity. Yes, I think I will get... Oh wait, that wasn't a carry capacity blob. That was an oxygen boost. Okay, that's okay. Um, can I? Can I unlock that? I don't think so. No, too difficult. Okay. Well, let's go kill some things, shall we? Get everybody's attention back. Veristaki, what have you been playing lately? Still the Star Trek Online thing? I think I saw you playing that recently. I hear gunshots! That does not make me happy! I don't stock up on junk. First we go in here... And... Pop, pop! What the hell? You were point blank! How did you not hit him? Oh, a Klingon event is going on, so you're leveling for the Empire! I mean, I, I can appreciate that. Alright, we're just gonna eat some stuff. I still haven't figured out what coffee is used for. But supposedly, it is worth a pretty penny. Found some potatoes. Potato? Yeah, we'll just take the coffee, why not? We're gonna eat the bread. Take the potato. Onion. Lettuce. There's gonna be another potato. Oh, it's zero wire. Okay. Oh, did you pick? There we go. <clears throat> this is not me being particular about what I pick up. <laughs> Should Daniel be a chef? I mean, he's got gastronomy. If future updates and expansions do something cool with gastronomy, I'd like for him to be kind of leveled. Just a little bit. Oh, eat that toast. Nom nom nom. Um, carry capacity, we're going to take that. We're gonna eat that. We're gonna eat that. Uh, oh, alien stew? We are going to take that. And it's orange. I mean, really, it's the best place to find food. Chunks beef? Ugh. I'll just go ahead and eat that, though. Baguette? Mary! The baguettes! Huh? Huh? Who knows what I'm talking about? Oh my god, it's it's a ping pong ball. They're playing beer pong. <laughs> oh, you'll love to see it. Oh, dark logger. Um 50 damage resistance for three minutes. Let's go.
That's one. He's just sitting there. Go. Go ahead and stand back up. Got him. They like to run at me from that corner. I don't think I can make a grenade toss from there, though. Alright, so we're gonna go into the office over here. And snag what we can snag. Yep, yep, yep. Sarah, are you having combat without me? That's rude, Sarah. Woo! Show me what you've got! Oh, I thought he ran in here. Did he run in here? Are you hiding in the bathroom, sir? No. Come on back up. Look, I'm gone. Sarah, hide. Not there. You're preventing me from moving. Where are you? Sarah. Sarah, I don't want to clear the whole fucking room. Sarah, the fuck? We're not going this way. This is not the right way. Well, it is. It's it's the right way, which means it's the wrong way. Sarah, fucking with me. God damn it, Sarah. Aha. And fuck you. Wow, that bounced right back on top of me, didn't it? Sarah with me. Sarah fucking with me. Yeah, now we gotta loot all these goddamn bodies, cause they're gonna- Yeah, I'm trying. Cause they're gonna disappear. Now that you've killed them, we have to actually loot them, and I didn't want to loot anything on this side of the world. Yo, goon! Sarah is off, like, destroying my life again. Like, doing all the wrong things. Chunks employee. History of Xenobiology, Daniel wants that. He'll read it later. He hates all of it. He hates Dickens, also. Right, we're gonna eat all the food we can find. I left some behind. In the, uh... The cafeteria, because I knew I was gonna need it. Um... How you doing tonight, Goon? Daniel is trying to methodically clear this location, and Sarah seems to be unwilling to let him do it his way. That's that's how things are going for us. <laughs> is it a thermos? Yeah, it's a thermos. Let's clear that. Um, Dover Beach. Oh, it's poetry. Yeah, Daniel will probably enjoy that later. 
definitely take some... Ooh, engineering outfit. Take it. Damn NPCs. Yeah, especially this one. You know, I ate... Ooh, this is, this is ammo. Um, I ate before I started the stream, and my stomach is already so hungry. <laughs> like, what is going on? I love that there's a gigantic TV in their, in their bathroom. That's just, that's just fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take all these ecliptic things. Oh my gosh, I got a fucking legendary, and it's a goddamn knife. Are you kidding me? This is some bullshit. Daniel doesn't use knives. I mean, he has one. He's gonna sit in his bags and be legendary and useless. Yeah, they know people are gonna be looking at the screen in the head. Like, seriously. Raise your hand if you've ever played on your phone while pooping. Seriously. Let's be real. It's way better than Reader's Digest, which is all I had when I was a kid. I would get so bored sometimes as a kid that I would read the back of a shampoo bottle. We still need to find Yikes. any sign. Sarah. So long. I was not talking to you. What the fuck part of... She's downstairs, and somehow I managed to accidentally talk to her while facing this direction. Okay. Yeah, we're not opening that door. Alright, but we gotta run upstairs now and get all the things that you killed up there. Oh my goodness, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. And we gotta check out this room. There's some things on the table we can use, like one or two things. There it is, we're gonna eat that. We're gonna eat that. <laughs> I mean, duh, raises both hands. See, that's why I love you guys. You're unabashedly honest. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Oh, here we go. Ammo. I think you need to get rid of some of that gear. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna go back to Vasco and he can have all of it. But we also need to finish picking up all of that gear. Data slate display. Oh, it's a display, not the data slate. Okay. All right, come on, Sarah. I've done enough murder hoboing for now. Let's go talk to Vasco, drop off all the gear. <clears throat> By way of pilfering the office as well. Yeah, yes, we got a Tesla. We got a Tesla poppers. Uh, unlucky. All right. Or how much y'all want to bet that I go to the trouble to unlock this, and it is literally a door into the freaking like commissary or some shit. Nope. It goes to the bathroom. <laughs> Even crazier. Space Rogue. Ooh. That's one that I want. Raisin Prince cereal. There, there is a fibrous cereal in the loo. Well played. 
All right, so let's go back in here and eat a few more things that I left behind to... Well, actually, my health is full again. So let's go in here and talk to uh, Vasco. Wait, didn't I come from here? I draw the line at eating in the bathroom. Fair, fair. I mean, it was a pretty much abandoned bathroom at this point, but fair. Greetings, Captain. Oh, I forgot to loot that guy. All right, Vasco, Captain buddy, Jackson. pal. Hello, carrying objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Right? <laughs> There's so much toilet paper. And toilet paper rolls everywhere. Uh... Yeah, demoralizing combat knife. 30% extra damage while in space. That's lame. I'm just going to sell that shit. <laughs> like, come on. Vasco, how much can you hold? We're about to find out. Oh, those ecliptic spacesuits are heavy too, so that makes sense. Oh man, so many helmets. Um, what have we picked up? You know what? You can hold all the food too. I think I just eat that. Take a tomato. I mean, my bags are in much better shape now. Alright. Good day, Captain. Thanks, Vasco. Fuck space adept anything, except on Vala, who took the uh, spaced whatever trait. Once she finally gets enough levels under her belt that she's regularly doing space combat and, like, seriously trying to, like, dock and take over ships and stuff, that'll be helpful. So. Daniel, just climb over it. My dude, it's not difficult. What can I find in- ooh, dead spacers. Credits! Alright, not eating in the bathroom. Not eating in the bathroom. What's in- what's behind door number three? Nothing. There's a lot of bathrooms on this space station, though. Who killed all these guys? Sarah? Did you kill all my XP? Getting XP is going to be hard enough without you killing half my mobs. Why are you reloading? Every single time I click the button to shoot, you just reload. Piece of shit game. Man, this Kraken is some bullshit. I don't know if this counts as a pistol or not, but... Oh, it does. Whoa! Oh, you wuss. Why are you running away? Sarah, kill him! Jesus. You want to kill things, then you refuse to kill him. Good grief, Sarah. Oh, there. For good measure. <laughs> 
Sarah, you're useless. Okay. Can't get in there until I get... Oh, I don't want a calm relay. Oh, I don't want a pill bottle either. Finger, stop automatically clicking things. box in here with some med stuff in it. There it is. Amp. Yep. And we're gonna eat that. And we're gonna go check in here. See what else we can loot. We can eat that. Eat that. Oh, eat that. Nom nom nom. There's just health laying all over the place. Yay, med pack. Okay, now let's go to the actual med bay. See what our dead spacer has for us. Hourglass. Cool. Oh, this isn't the one with the dead spacer. I've got to find the card that unlocks the doors. Okay, nothing in here. There's never anything in here and I always check in here. Spacer. Microscope. Right. Yep, we'll take a book. Alright, where? Oh, another spacer. There it is. Search and rescue key. Daniel's just taking all the books. That's how he be. I uh, probably should not have taken the on gang culture, but that's okay. We can always dump it. Empty oxygen booster. Psh. All right, what is there to take? Oh. Seaweed snacks, nom nom. Light of stars, light of stronger. Tranquility, ooh, nom nom. XP gain. Not that we're going to be killing any pirates for a few minutes. Yo, I'm lost. Okay, I'm found. But this should open this door. Yo. Alright, here we go. Med pack me. That's not a med pack. But I'll take it. Yo, that's a lot of ammo. Hello. Credits, baby. Yo. Love it. Om nom. Om nom. Om nom nom? No, not noms. Alright. There's my dead spacer. What we got here? We got us some um, ammo. Meal pack. Bandages. Credits. All kinds of goodies. What's he got on him? Yo, that's a lot. The very first time I found this guy. All he had on him was a pack of bourbon. <laughs> nice. Alright, Sarah, let's GTFO. Back to Basco. And drop off a bunch of books. I don't think he can carry anything else. He was getting pretty oh, close to full. Captain Jackson, do you require hi? Let's trade. Please here. Dis recommencing item exchange protocols. Veristaki, do you know if uh, Vasco has his own companion mission story thing, or is he just kind of tied to Barrett? There's a YouTube channel called Dust that shows short form science fiction stories. One of them was written and directed by Michael Shanks. Oh, cool. Uh. Probably. He's been dabbling in writing and directing ever since his Stargate days.
He's tied to Barrett. Nothing fun. Yet. Uh-huh. Ugh. Basket was full. Rip. Um... Can you hold some yogurt? <laughs> Rumors with Shattered Space expanding companion stuff? That would be nice. Not that I've done any companion stuff so far. <laughs> but... Instant oatmeal. Spaghetti. Yogurt. Okay. Alright, next time I'm full, I will just make Sarah carry it. Because there's a lot of stuff in the next half of the space station to pick up. <laughs> if I can avoid getting lost, there are also some cool hidden bits and bobs. Since I have that key, I can get to them. And Sarah, that's why we go the other way first, because then I have the key to get into all the places. What a concept. I mean, y'all can shoot if you want. There's nothing, nothing doing. Cereal. we go. There's our magazine. Permanently reduces fuel for grav jump by 1%. This is badly for you. Well, don't run off ahead of me, Sarah. Just hold your hold your horses. Just hold your little murder hobo horses. All right, Sarah. It's it's time. Sarah. Sarah. With me. Hey, down here. Alright. Sarah! Jesus, just running out in the middle of everything. Yeah, no shit, because you ran out into everything. Dumbass. Let's, I guess we're going down first. This is not the direction I prefer to go, because that's where the boss is. Whoopsie. Let's not hit the windows key. That'll play. Did I get them both? Sarah, out of my way. Sarah, Sarah, get out of the way. Just 
You just... Alright. Well, like I said, wasn't planning on coming downstairs first, but since we're here... Let's loot all the things. Take, please. Oh, I wasn't supposed to eat that. I was supposed to take that. Alright, where... Alright, that's all my dead bodies around here. Okie dokie. Downstairs first it is. Sarah, just leave them alone for now. We're looting. We're looting all the things. Sarah. Who are- who's shooting at who? Sarah, I don't see anybody. Sarah, with me. Yeah, I like going in here first, because there's a bunch of shit to pick up that might be a new weapon. But no, you didn't want to go this way first. If you're overloaded, we should stop. And oh, don't worry, you're about to care all my shit. Don't you worry your pretty little self about that. We're gonna take care of that. You are my mule. Muse. I meant my muse. You are my muse. <laughs> Yo, iconic! Sorry. I was, uh, very, very distracted. The worst part is Sarah hates it when you murder Hobo. Yeah, but it's perfectly fine when she does it. Okay, so you've noticed, Veristaki. Speaking of murder Hobo, we come here. need to find any song. Feel free to drop some stuff. How are you time. doing, Iconic? Happy, <laughs> heavy RPing. <laughs> heavy something. Heavy yelling at Sarah about running off to murder hobo things again. Ah, uh, ooh, I'm gonna keep that. Eventually, I have to look at all this and see what I want to use. I don't have very many rounds for that, though. Getting back to the HC grind. Dude, that is great to hear. That is great news. I entirely support the HC community, even if I'm not currently actively playing. I am still... A huge fan and completely support Time my homies. Go. 100%. What you play in now? To rush me while I'm distracted. That shit ain't gonna work. Where'd you go? Sir? Where did you go? Is that Sarah or a bad guy? I'm not sure. Did you run this way? You little punk. Well, He'll show up eventually, and I'll put a cap in his ass then. Just like all of his buddies. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out... Oops, Sarah, you walked through me as I was trying to pick that up. Still deep in wrath?
I scroll up for a second. Nobody seemed to come back to self-bound mode. Well, yeah, they should have released it with the hardcore servers. Did they seriously think that releasing the self-found mode later? After everybody had been playing Blizzcore would suddenly make Blizzcore players want to play the original way? No, all the original way players are still on the old era servers. Silly mod idea, but I imagine it's been done. Someone modding her accepting your stuff line to I am sworn to carry your burdens. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> I doubt it, because there's there's not a lot of, of mod... I mean, there's a lot of mod activity for this game, but the creation kit isn't out yet, so there's not a lot of serious mod activity for this game. That that goes into, like, nitpicky detail like that. I'm amazed I managed to get the Teal'c First Prime logo on his forehead. I can't believe somebody made that so early in the game. Like, that was maybe two weeks it was out. Like, ah, this is great. Red stick. Link. All right, what we got here? Om nom nom. Eat some cake. Ooh, Origin of Species. Take a book. Daniel picks up all the books. Iconic, you're one of my, you're one of my Stargate buddies, right? You, you know all the show. Here we go. Here's the super secret cache. Whoa! Okay, that is my new pack. Plus, I got 4,000 credits. Yo, that was worth it. Oh my gosh. Hello. Let's maybe go equip that right now, huh? Lead lined pirate survival pack. It's less damage resistance, but it grants me extra resistance as my health drops. I think that might be the play. And it weighs less, too. Yeah. I think that's the play. Now we are back out here. Okay, that was the exit. That was the exit. Wait, is that where I thought I was? That's not where I thought I was. Oh, no, no, no. This is the other side. Okay, this is the other side underneath the ship. Yes. Oopsie. You some kind of an acrobat? Well, clearly not, Sarah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have just fallen. Alright, so... We got all these guys. Where's... Sarah, where's that one that we killed? Where's that other one? Alright, we did not loot all this. This was the side that we had just moved to when we got distracted. Iconic distracted us. It's the best kind of distraction. Med pack. Did you pick? Did you pick? Yo, I love free did you picks. And what do we got here? Uh, bullshit. Okay. So we have now... There it is. Credits! I think we have now looted the bottom of both sides. So let's go up and double check the top. I'm telling you, there's another guy around here somewhere. Oh, Sarah, you're gonna kill him, aren't you? Dude. 
Got him. Damn. You're a hard mofo to track down, my dude. All right. We got all of them, Sarah. We're good. How modded? Um, not extremely modded, because again, the creation kit isn't out yet, so there's... Oh, a Willoughby! It's not Willoughby, but I just call him Willoughby. Will be, because it doesn't roll off my tongue, so I just call him Willoughby. Um, it's not exceptionally modded. I'll, I'll show you what I've got. Give me a second. Okay, I don't want that. Alright, so, um, I have a UI mod that just makes the menus cleaner. Uh, it shrinks them all down because, like, for example, you see how thick the lines are for each category here? They're, they're like, wider spacing. So when you went into weapons or spacesuits or whatever, the spacing was just as wide. So you saw way fewer items on the screen. So it just it snugged up the lines. And it gave you extra um, information because before all you had was mass and value. So they added the total damage resistance as a line for you to, to see um, the value per mass. So you can decide which things you want to drop that are going to give you less value per mass. Um, on the weapons, they've added, instead of just having a damage category, they've actually added a DPS category because it's difficult to understand. Like right now, I've got this Grindel equipped that it says damage three but my firing rate is 170 so my total dps is actually 56 whereas up here the um the damage is uh, well that's an axe the damage is 12 but my fire rate is 50 so it works out to a 61 dps um so being able to kind of just see the base dps helps like substantially in trying to determine which weapon is better because how they organize the um oh you can't see it tesla's in the way sorry tesla standby oh now the chat box is in the way standby the way this is organ oh. yeah the way this is organized over here like i've got the grindle equipped so my physical is three that's physical damage per round, not total DPS. So that's that's very confusing. It doesn't actually show DPS anywhere. <laughs> um, but if I went to say the advanced Big Bang, the physical damage is shown separate from the energy damage. So the total damage is really hard to suss out so, um, yeah, it just, a lot of this is garbage to try to figure out which weapon is better damage-wise. It's fine to show, okay, well, it's only got an eight-round mag, so you may want to only use it sparingly uh, because you're going to have to reload a lot. Or your fire rate's low, the accuracy is low. Like, these, these things are cool to see. You can put up to seven mods on it, so the mod is basically you can add a scope, a, a, a sight, a barrel mod, a compensator, um, stock mods, things like that. There, there's up to seven different categories of mods that can go on this weapon. And again, that's if you have like all four points into weapon engineering, plus a point in special projects, plus your research is maxed out so that you can actually research those high-end mods that you can only get when you've got everything. Um... Then for like healing items, again, adding that value per mass is great. Um, just snugging it up. Showing the difference between the uh, aid items versus... So so these will, will give you health, the med packs, whereas like antibiotics and bandages and stuff will fix conditions. So having the conditions sorted separately from the actual healing things, sorted separately from the things that give you buffs sorted separately from the food, whereas it used to all be alphabetical top to bottom in this entire category. 
So you'd have to sort through, if you if you wanted to get to med pack, you'd have to sort through I don't know how much fucking food to get down to M to med pack. And now it's just right at the top. So things like that. It's quality of life type stuff. Um, for the, that's that's probably the biggest mod that I have is the, the sky UI or the star UI that is based almost exactly off of sky UI. <laughs> Um, another mod that I have is when you go out into the star system, without the mod, all of the star systems are blue. Every one of them is blue. Period. End of story. All the text is blue, just like these guys down here. So what they've done is they've changed the color based on the level of the star system. So now you can see your lower level stuff are your greens and your blues. And then oranges and yellows are more of like your mid level stuff and then your reds are your high end. So Leviathan system is level 55. Um, Serpentis system, <clears throat> 55. You keep going, you get to Hawking system is 75. So um, just having a color coded space map is super nice. Because this did not end up being nearly as three-dimensional as they led us to believe it would be. Like, you can kind of see which ones are forward and which ones are back a little bit as you pulse through it. But you can't actually rotate the screen. So that's... I'm waiting for somebody to get a mod where you can rotate the screen. <clears throat> and then truly see a more three-dimensional representation of the settled systems. Um, I've got a mod for just, like, fast maps, or fast, like, if, if I wanted to get, if I wanted to exit, you have to hold down tab to exit the menu, and before I got the mod, you had to hold it down for, like, three seconds, and they basically halved it, now it's like, if you hold it for a second or so, it just pops you right out. You still have to do more than just tap it, you have to hold it, but it recognizes pretty quick. And it pulls you out. Whereas if I just do a tap. It continues to pull me further and further out. But if I do a hold. Boom. I'm out. But I don't have to wait the full three seconds. Because <clears throat> it was absurd. And um, I've got fast animations now too. So I didn't like remove the animations. But if I want to sit. Instead of taking... <laughs> a little tappy, a little tap tap -a -roo. <laughs> Like, if I want to sit in the chair, instead of him, like, turning around and then sitting down in way slower than any normal human would ever take to sit down in a chair, it double times the animation. He just sits down at a normal speed. And then he stands up at a normal speed. Uh, it's it's done that with some of the like ship flying cutscenes and stuff too. It's halved the time, so you still get the immersion of seeing the cutscenes, but it doesn't drag out longer than it needs to be. If that makes any sense. Alright, so I think this is our last... Yeah. And then we just need to double check. Sarah, Sarah, move. That we got everything over here, because last time we ended up going downstairs. Just want to double... Oh, creds. So I don't have a ton of mods. Most of the mods that I have are just incredibly lightweight quality of life things. Just enough to make it feel a little more polished in terms of like the, the the character interactions with the environment really um i'm trying i'm, I'm actually going to be putting out a video on a few of these mods but it's it's probably the biggest undertaking i've had in terms of trying to sync audio with video with b-roll and recording voiceovers and things like that so it's going very slow uh, but my next my next video on youtube is going to be about some mods that i think are 
utterly necessary to make the game play like the game should have played out of the box. So. Stay tuned. Maybe. Maybe by the end of the month I'll have that out. Maybe it'll be my April video. Alright, so we're gonna pick up this data slate. So we gotta go rescue this guy, I guess. Daring the spacers to come. Yeah, he is daring the spacers to come after him. Where's my ship? After him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Yeah. Something like that. Um, no. This is the direction we want to go. Out the front door. Well, not exactly the direction I thought I was going. But, oh my god. I cannot stand the physics in this goddamn game sometimes. This is the door I thought I was coming out over here. Oop. Am I encumbered? I thought I was coming out that door. No, I'm not encumbered, because... It would be going down while I walk. We are ready to depart. Captain Jackson, greetings. Greetings, Vasco. Bored. Dump stuff in the ship. <laughs> Gotta hold the junk off of Sarah. Dump that in the ship, too. Alright. We got a transfers. Oh, shit. We still got contraband on us. Ah, uh, that's good to remember. Alright. We got two plushies. Why do I have a pill bottle? Where's my pl Oh, I think Sarah has a plushie. Somebody's got a plushie. This is all junk. We'll sell that later. Got to the next rate of bombs and up to adamantite frames. Nice fun. Good job. I'm actually not that full. Looks like it's Neptune next. Have something for me? Maybe. Maybe you have something for me. Uh, let's see. Dig in deep once you're comfortable slaughtering ogres in Negron. Oh yeah, for all that adamantite. That'll be a, a little bit, but not too bad. I mean, what did, did you say you're 65 now? You're getting there. Um, she needs to actually wear some stuff. I guess she didn't have a suit. Maybe she had a suit. I don't know what she had. Um, but she needs to equip that. I will take all. Bye for now. Bye bye. Alright, so we're gonna do a save because, oh my gosh, I don't remember the last time I saved. <laughs> we're feeling these casters don't feel any worse than us usual, just the melee. Yeah. I 
Alright, so sitting down in the pilot's chair is gonna go faster than usual. Um, okay, it's glitching and it won't let me actually sit down in the pilot's chair. WTF. Wow, guess who can't sit down in the pilot's seat? That's a glitch, if I've ever seen one. Maybe we can just fly to Neptune? Set course. Okay. Wait, did you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Okay. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. I'm aware. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. And I suck at the kind of ship combat. You can't just target the engines, lady. The amount of times that I've accidentally blown this guy up. can't target the engines. I don't have fucking targeting. There we go. Okay. That's it. Start the docking routine. That was close. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Woo! I almost killed him. All right. Let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. Okay. Quick save. Board. Who's ready to kill some more pirates? But first, we're gonna pilfer all of his things! Not all, but we're definitely gonna take a look around. Om nom nom. Kill him, Sarah. He's mine. He definitely mine. Yo, Dingle's ten. Try it again, Sarah. Don't get in front of me. I'll shoot you too. I'll do it. I'll fucking shoot you. Do not take my kill. Legendary knife. Look at this bullshit. I've visited worlds with temperatures this low before, <laughs> and it's never been a pleasant experience. The fuck? It's not cold in here, Sarah. This is some bullshit. I cannot get a legendary that's not a fucking knife. Driving me crazy. This, ugh. 
Just so... Ugh. Come on. Goblin warrior and either gnome rogue or sacrificial gnome rogue into a DK. Ah, right, right, right. Depends on if your wrath DK makes it. Alright, well, the staggering side star at least is worth adding to my arsenal. This is some bullshit. <laughs> I'm never... I'm going to intentionally use one of these. Alright, so... Where do I want to add this one? Did I accidentally give Sarah my 94 Grindel? What? Hmm. I think I did. Alright, well let's add this to favorites. Put it down here. We'll put it here. Sarah, I need one of those Grindles back. Come here. I gave Good you the wrong work. one. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. All right, you give me uh, this, and I will give you some of this junk. And take that. Good enough. Thank you, sir. Until later. Right, so now I have my weapons and equip that and add it to my favorites. Yeah. Alright, cool, cool. Quick save. Alrighty buddy, old pal. Captain's locker. Oh, it's empty. Lame. How much shit can I steal from your locker, my dude? Ah, am I oh. glad to meet whoever you two are? Hello. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Right. Uh, who were those people? Why'd they hijack your ship? Ecliptic mercs. Mm. They'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got That's fed fair. up and they pooled their money to hire professionals. All right. Now, we're from the Explorers Group Constellation. What? We need to talk. You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is? I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling potent titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? <laughs> um, I want to groan on behalf of scientists everywhere. Then you're going to hand over the artifact. <laughs> that is something Daniel would say. Hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are for, right? Here, happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. But can I steal from his ship? I'll be taking those credits off of your hands. And those as well. Pleasure doing business with you. Alrighty. We're gonna go straight to the cockpit because last time it wouldn't let me into the cockpit. <laughs> 
And we have to undock before we can travel anywhere. We're free and clear for flight. All right, where are we going? What are we doing? Um, return to the lodge. Okay, but we wanted to go play on Mars for a little while. But before we can go to Mars, we have to go to the den and sell our contraband. Right, Veristaki? This is such a good whiskey. <laughs> I knew you were still lurking. <laughs> I knew it. I appreciate you. I'm gonna be very good about ending at four hours this time because I am so sick of like digging through five hours of footage to make these freaking videos. Eating Oreos. <laughs> nice, clean. I love it. You know, I feel like there should have been Oreos in this game. Shit. The contraband's on my ship. JK. I have ginger snaps in the pantry and now I want one. Alright, give me the contraband. What else can I sell? Uh, oh, I can sell that. Aid. All right, no, we're good. Sarah, with me. We're probably gonna have to sell things and then sit and wait and sell things again. But this guy has a lot of credits to his name, so I'd like to do it. it go through at least um, two okay, rounds okay. of his credits before we go back to New Atlantis, where I know the credits are limited. May I be of service? Was there something you needed? If there are Oops. deals to be made, you'll find that we'll go to great lengths to take advantage of them. Nice. My primary role here is to oversee logistics operations for our many trade routes in the area. But I convinced my superiors that it was worth setting up something more customer-oriented. <laughs> I'm told that they are quite customer. pleased with the results. Yeah, because I keep giving you contraband. We have what you and then need. you can turn around and sell it for I don't know how much. I'm absolutely positive that I'm getting ripped off over here. Please take my contraband. Thank you. You can have a pill bottle too that apparently I'm just carrying around to to carry it around. Alright, let's get rid of all this junk. Uh, he doesn't look too bad in that. Oh. He's not UC security. Um, I feel like Daniel did have a leather jacket in the show. I'm pretty sure he was wearing it in that episode where he got possessed by Michello. And the guy goes out and he's like trying to buy everybody at the diner food or something. Okay, we're going to get rid of that and keep the leather jacket. All right, Sarah, give me your shit. Uh, Back to the lodge, shall we? Let's Not yet. See what you've got. Not yet. Let's see what you've got. All. all right, so I think I've got all of her stuff now. Um, okay. I already asked her person, unless she's got new personal questions because it's not grayed out anymore. 
How may the trade See what you have for sale. All right, I would rather sell a bunch of things that are going to get. Nope, that's buy. Sell. There we go. Don't get any weight back. Okay, I am underweight. So all modify Grindel. Great QP laser. Good night. I believe in you, Fenaria. You can do it. Yeah, I'm gonna be logging at midnight your time. I've got to go cook. Om nom nom. Alright, regular side star. Bye bye. Uh, modified side star. Slightly higher DPS, but this one has staggering and 10% against humans, so we're going to go ahead and keep that one. Okay. Ecliptic pack. Wow, did we seriously get through all the junk? Oh, wait, we gotta sell the mines, because we don't use mines. Um, sell all. Nice! Alright, we're gonna drop those. Nice! Okay! Look at it's that. a little surprising, isn't it? Out here on the and Vasco, give me a couple of your things. Hello, Captain. How can I be of assistance? It's going to be uh, more like 2.30 a.m. cooking. Right, give me a couple of those, because those are heavier. Oh, that's heavy. And a helmet. The ecliptic stuff is heavy, but worth a lot. Goodbye. You know what? Just give me a bunch of it. We're about to do a sit I and wait. Keep your items safe, Captain. Just give me everything, Vasco. Uh, doesn't need any of that. Oh, that's a nice little jacket. Uh, I feel like he'd wear the normal brown jacket better, though. Helmets. Give me that. All those. Okay, you can have the aid and the resources. In fact, let me give you some stuff. Have a carrot. And some grapes. And an orange. And some steak. Um... And hold all those. Oops, back to trade gear. I am ready to commence a trade. I was going to take the weapons, and I forgot to take the weapons. Okay. Travel safely. And yep, yep, I'm encumbered. I'm aware. We're going to sell that ecliptic stuff first. Good to see you. If we can. You won't find a better offer on the station. That stuff is ex expensive, so we'll probably be able to get away with selling a couple. <sighs> Ecliptic pack. Is it actually going to sell for 3000 No way. I didn't think so. Oh, fuck, I'm buying it. God damn it. Well, we'll just call that in accident all right ecliptic oh don't have enough for the ecliptic pack start Roma. Ooh, down to 49 can i sell the mines nope 
Okay. Can I sell something? Yeah, we'll sell that. Okay. So now we have to do the thing that you do in Bethesda games where you sit and you fucking wait for 48 hours for the vendors to recoup their their monies. And then we sell things again. Because that's just how we roll. No, I'm... Hi, am I here? I don't think the stream cut off. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I I didn't I didn't see a glitch over here. Um I'm showing zero dropped frames, so I don't know. Weird. No, it it didn't end. Oops, I got to get back on the game. It won't actually progress the timer if I am in OBS instead of Starfield. <laughs> Yeah, so this is one thing that I don't particularly care for. I like how Skyrim does it, where if you move from place to place, the time changes as if you had walked that distance. So if it would normally take you 12 hours to walk from one city to another in-game time, then when you fast travel there, 12 hours have elapsed. And I know that grav drives are supposed to be like, oh, instantaneous travel, but they're not. What? I promise, guys. I don't know what's going on. All right, um, I don't know if you guys are back or not, but we're going to do the wait game again. Again, like, grab drive is not instantaneous, so there should be some period of time that it takes, because even when, like, freaking Jean-Luc Picard is traveling at warp 7 or 9 or whatever, uh, time is passing while they're warping, it is such an incredible distance that time passes. So there should be set amounts of time that it takes to move from one system to another. And porting from system to system, not necessarily planet to planet, but system to system should net you in-game hours that allow you to hit up vendors with, like, new money. Whatever. Time should pass. While grab jumping systems. Not necessarily planets within a system, but system to system? Yeah, that's not instantaneous. Alright, let me see what's going on. Alright, I've got my phone sitting here running my stream. So, I'm going to keep an eye on it. If y'all say that it's glitching out, I'll, I'll look down and see what's going on. It's not updating very well. I used to be an actuary. Oh, hi. Now look at me. Wait, I'm lost. Hold up. Okay. We're good. If there's anything I can do for you, please say the word. Wow! Dude. Um... We need to have a discussion about physics. Uh... That's... That's different. Whoa. We're gonna screenshot that. We're also gonna see if we can get Sarah out of the picture. Wow. That's... That's a thing. That's happening. How may the trade authority assist you? Yeah, I like some time should pass. 
Like, I, I agree that planet to planet within a system should be near instantaneous with a grav drive, but system to system, that's monumentally large amounts of space that should take time. All right, let's sell. Let's sell. Oh, don't have spacesuits. Let's sell packs. Let's sell helmets. Let's definitely sell some weapons. Um, oh, that's that space adept bullshit. So, solstice. Ooh, do I even have a solstice? Maybe I should hold on to that. What do they use? 1.5? Yeah, I don't have anything that uses that ammo. Okay. Sell, sell. Regular side star. Black Grendels and Equinox. Sell all. Oh, we gotta go do book stuff. All right, sell mines. Okay, but we've definitely snugged up our inventory now. We can go buy my dude. Um, finish our story quest. How can I be of service, Captain? All right, so let's get right into the cockpit, separate, and go back to Const... No, go back to Mars, because we were going to do some Mars... No, what time is it? Half an hour. Let's go back to Constellation. All right, let's 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 finish up this quest for Constellation. Undocking uh, complete. See, see where this takes us. It sounds like we're, we're about to kind of complete one part of the chain and then move on to something new next time. So let's at least finish this part of the chain for, for dear, dear sweet space monkey. Oh, and I have a talent point to spend. And looks like surveying. Okie dokie. Yes. <laughs> we have it. <laughs> we have it. Do the honors. Alright. Um activate. It fits. Energy spiked it a fits. bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. Ooh. As a full member this time. Whoa. What does it mean to be a Honestly, full member? This just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. It's an honor to be part of this. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter she for She wants to hang out with I'm me. I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I got like results. You watching my back. Why ask me? Why not someone who's been here long? Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. 
Why not keep going? All right, you got it, Sarah. Let's get back out All there. Right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Ooh. Um, what should I do first? It's this is a lot. But if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. Okay. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Well then, what can you tell his me about mind Barrett? Is always, so I know that no feeling. arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. I know that Daniel but is always in the right place at the wrong so time. Excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. All right, what's the eye? Who's Vladimir? We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Okay, he's an astronomer. And uh, what about Sam? Oh, what? That's right. He wasn't here when you first showed no, up. No, I haven't met Sam. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. Ah. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. Alrighty. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Not at all. And I've already asked all of them. Goodbye. I ah. cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Hi. Just go easy on him. Right. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important All right, stuff. Daniel already likes Sam. He agrees. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional that would be me. family. That would definitely be me. Speaking of family, you two related? No. Funny story, caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Dad. <laughs> All right. That's my one. You must be Sam Co. Freestar Collective Whoa. Expert. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila Moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. I like deep him. history lessons. I am an archaeologist. Nice to meet you, Cora. Maybe you can tell me something about this. Glad to see someone so young taking an interest in space. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Sam, <laughs> not let it go to his head. <laughs> Impossible. A <laughs> compliment from little Cora. Well, it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah, tell you about the expedition? Free Star Collective Space. Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and... I'm not, I didn't say I was going anywhere with you. Capital, Sarah and I gotta go say. find Barrett. We'll land in the city spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Dun dun dun! Okay, sorry. Uh, still getting my bearings. Let's head out later. Hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. I uh, I did promise you know Sarah ready. that we were gonna go get Barrett first. So we're gonna go do that. But first, but wait, there's more. Um, my ship. Yes. But we want to pull all the resources into our bags, take off, port back down to Constellation, and deposit all the resources. That's what we're doing. Okay. 
transfer resources. Whoop, pretty full now. I would also like to take all four of those. Leave the constellation pack. So let's go to my inventory and see what we can deposit in terms of additional aid. Well, we don't need that many. Uh, confirm. Also don't need that many. I'm going to drop nothing. I'm going to drop two of those. Secret outpost. I'm going to put the books in the safe. I think that's it. Okay. Yep. Oh wait, inventory. I got a new suit. Whoa. Alright, so we're gonna equip that bad boy. Holy smokes. Calibrated Constellation Helmet. Yeah, we are gonna equip that bad boy too. I'm liking this. This is good stuff. Alright, but we got to... We gotta move some resources around. Yo! Actually, let me sit down this time. Let's put this bird into space. So now we got to land directly in the lodge and Stay deposit all those resources. Jump. We're not jumping anywhere. We're, we're going to the lodge. And depositing all those resources. I totally forgot that I put that on there. <laughs> I forgot there was a sticker on the bottom. <laughs> I got my Starfield water bottle all squared away. Oh, check it. Nova Galactic. That's the space station that we just, like, clean, cleaned the pirates out of. Nice, nice. Alright, and back into Constellation. We have got a lot of stuff to deposit. Can't think of a better place to recharge and ready ourselves for our next mission. Okay, first, we're dumping all of our stuff in here. Resources. Nope. Inventory. Resources. Transfer to container. Boom. No longer overburdened. Aid. What do we got? What do we got? Um, nothing. Nothing that we can dump here. Okay. That's okay. Now we go to Cora's room. Off to Cora's room. All right, so this is the kiddo's room. She's got all of her goodies. Last time I was here, I accidentally exploded it. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna drop some stuff here. Um, drop, drop. There you go. More toys for you. Where's the Galactic Cat? Where did Kitty go? WTF. Well, that's lame. The cat is missing. Those are hard to find, too. Fucking hell. Cora, I tried to get you a kitty. 
No missions available. Okay. Alright, so now up to my room to deposit all the books. All the books. And a couple of snow globes. Alright, inventory. Notes. Book, 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 book. Alright, all the books are where they belong. Yo! The constellation box sorted itself out. It's back where it's supposed to be. And my geode is still there. Ah, that's cool. Alright, where where can I put snow globes? Oof. Oof. Looks like this is it. This is the shelf where the snow globes are going. Okay. Verostaki, how many snow globes did you get? Look, I got the Cydonia snow globe, which is the face on Mars. I found that. It was in the right eye socket of the actual face on Mars. And then I got the London snow globe, which was at the London landmark on Earth. These are the first snow globes I've ever gotten in this game. None of my other characters have found any. But we're gonna drop it. And we're gonna drop that. And we're gonna see... If we can... Pick it up and put it on a shelf. Nope. <sighs> but... God damn it. Yes, we have placed a snow globe. <laughs> I have done it. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, good enough. Yay, we placed the second snow globe. <laughs> oh my gosh. There like supposedly it is very easy to move things around in this game. I have not had that experience. It is god awful for me to move things around. Like this is some bullshit. There, if there's if there's something I'm missing in the general like decorations department, somebody please let me know because I am over it. My third snow globe's gonna go there. Uh. All right, Sarah, we're gonna head out to see Barrett next time. Um, it's one fifty four, and I really want to end on time, so we're just gonna call it here. It's been great. It's been fantastic. Uh, but this is this is gonna be it for us. We are we're gonna take a little nappy poo here. Take a three hour nap and refresh. And yeah, I've got to go cook Rise some meal shine. prep. We've got things to do. Rise and shine. Uh, okay, so that auto saved, but we're gonna do a hard save because that's just how we roll. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, let's sit on this. Oops. Let's sit on this chair this time. That looks like a nice place to sit and wait. Alrighty. We are going to quit and quit the main menu. Confirm. Cause I'm probably gonna come back and play another character after I get the food in the oven. Who are we gonna raid? That's the real question. That's the real question. Iconic, are you streaming by any chance? Who's streaming? Who 
who is online tonight. I need to find some Starfield streamers that I can raid too. Alright. Uh, let's go get Denikina. She's doing some naked hardcore, I guess. <laughs> oh, or do y'all want to go to Backasm? He's doing Dark Souls for the first time ever, and this is his day one of Dark Souls. Do you want Den Denikina or Dark Souls or uh, Dark Souls with Backasm or Naked Hardcore with Denikina? Bats. All right, let's go to Backasm. Let's go. Oh shit! I gotta get in his stream. Uh, it looks like he's fighting somebody, so let's go interrupt him. Y'all have a fantastic night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, yeah, let's do this again next month, I guess. <laughs> Bye.